everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly and today it's yet another reaction video. So today's reaction video will be on my July book haul of last year. So my slightly chaotic birthday book haul part two. I almost did four. Two. Um, yeah, let's... I guess we'll just dive right in and see how many of the books I have actually read in a year's time. Red Rise and Bebe. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, um, definitely one of my favorite all time series. Yes, have read this book. I think I read it in July last year or August, something like that. I might have been reading it at the time of doing this video as well. I don't know. I had apparently sectioned it off, so. Oh, well done me. I very, very recently read this book. Pretty sure it was in May. Chef's Kiss, read it. Read page two. Just read any page too, really. <sighs> a little picture book, of course, of course, because why not? Uh, yeah, I have read that book. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah, I think it took me about two minutes to read. <laughs> I do really like the the drawings. Damn, such a streak. And no, I've not read the switch yet. Damn it. Damn it, damn, damn, damn. Ah, <laughs> oh, remembrance. So I must have hauled. Yup, yup. Yeah, both remembrance and the proposal. Um, I did read last year. I also did a like Meg Cabot and the Mediator series conversation video thing. I'll I'll link it above um, if you want to go have a look. Oh, this one is looking good. This one is looking good. I did read those. I'm still curious about if it's gonna if there's going to be a, like a third book or not because I keep hearing there's going to be a third book to the duology and I'm like well what will happen in that one probably something similar to what happens in those two but well oh king of scars and I'm guessing also the second one which is the second one yeah rule of wolves I have not read either of those yet and yeah, I still do not like the size difference of them. Yeah, no, no. I really might exchange the big one for the big rule of wolves for a smaller one. Um, if I can get a hold of a smaller copy, because then they will fit. All of Lee Bardugo's books will fit together. But I do like the floppiness of it. <laughs> oh, decisions. Bad choices. Yeah, I made some bad choices. No, uh, I've not read this one, but I am very much looking forward to reading it because Lucy Vine, she is hilarious, so I'm expecting hilarity, among other things, from this book. And it's actually, I think it's actually smaller than her other books. I don't know, but I think so. Damn it. This started off so great, and now it's just going downhill. I've not read the yearbook yet. I still really want to, though. I'm actually, I'm pretty sure when I ordered that book that I ordered the special edition of it, but I did not get the special edition of it. Where is that one, eh? Where is that one? It's actually fine. It's... Um, it had like sprayed edges and I think they have the like the shield on the sprayed edges. I don't know. Um, 
so oh yeah did read that one very disappointed in that one um the writing was very childish I like the premise and the plot for it but the writing in it was very childish uh, I remember thinking that I do hope that the other Katie Ford book I have which is A Rose Petal Summer um, that the writing in that one isn't as childish as the Quick Rate one because oh damn because <laughs> that's actually kind of terrible <laughs> But to be fair, it's not that easy to write a quick, a quick race book, a very short story book. So it could just be that. Fingers crossed. Ooh, oh yeah, House of Earth and Blood. Uh, yeah, I've I've read this one, and I do really, really want to read House of Sky Breath. It's cool. Yes, uh, but I'm waiting for that one to be out in the paperback format, like that one. So it will suit all my other Sarah J. Bass books because they're all in a very neat, least, yeah, you can see here, they're all in the exact same size, height wise, um, and width wise. Yes, no, they're all in the same exact size, so they fit very nicely these are lying down but they fit very nicely together okay yes yeah yeah i'm weird with about that with some books and some other books i don't give a crap it's weird it's weird i know it's weird Ooh, 500 miles from you not read that one yet so i know i have a few Jenny Colgan books, I think about four Jenny Colgan, yeah, four Jenny Colgan books that I have not read yet. And it's because some of them are part of series and some of them have other names than, well, some of them have multiple names. Let's just say that. And it's giving me a headache trying to figure out which book belongs to which series. Because why make it easy? Come on, publishers. Why are you doing this to me? To us? No, to me. I don't care. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. I remember... I really love this book. I really did. It's like a book you want to be a series, but with the ending of that book, uh, if it did have a series, it would ruin the entire book. <laughs> I really like that. I really, really like this one. And maybe I should reread that soon. Possibly. <gasps> Legendborn. Another book I really, really enjoyed as well. Um, it has a sequel coming out. Might already be out. Either way, uh, I'm really, really looking forward to picking up the sequel. I might reread the first one just because it's been a year. <laughs> we shall see. I might just pick up. I don't know yet. One of them, I will read the sequel. That's what I'm trying to say. And I've read this one. Wow. <laughs> uh, I've not read these yet because I'm not sure how to read them yet because you can read them either like one side and then the other side or you can read them like switch them around I don't know how to explain this but basically um, there's two point of views and you can switch the book around and I haven't figured out how I want to read this these books yet so I've not read them and yeah but it also was a hassle to get a hold of because I got a hold of the, I think the second book in the series, it might have been the first one. I got a hold of one of them and then I had to ask a friend to bring me the other one because it was only available in a store near her, but nowhere near me and also not on the internet. So that was great. <laughs> but I have them now and there's no more in that series. Pretty sure. Yeah. Um... 
those I think I might actually do a reading vlog of them whenever I figure out how I want to read them basically because yeah switching too much for my brain too much for my tiny brain you know you know I will figure it out and ending on a weird note with an upside down cat apparently <laughs> Those were all the books I apparently talked about for, I think the video was 40 minutes long. <laughs> yeah, just under, just four seconds under 40 minutes long. Hopefully this video will not be as long as that. I'm pretty sure it won't because I'm gonna chop this son of a bitch up. Wow, okay, that took a turn. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Oh, bye bye.